Hey, welcome back everyone. I hope everyone is having a blessed day. My name is Kieran Tross and I want to thank you for clicking on this video. This is Terraform for Beginners Living Series and I'm going to be going through this series uh, throughout all of 2024. So I hope you all are excited because I'm excited to be bringing you this content and I'm just going to continue updating it and coming up with really fun little projects uh, in order to help you learn Terraform. So this is going to be a series within a series. So we do have the Terraform Azure Beginners, uh, which that is blankets everything. Uh, but where I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be having these little challenges within it uh, just to do something fun, right? So I'm just thinking about how can I, you know, show you guys, you know, the different aspects of Terraform without making it boring. So I like to come up with these little objectives and these little scenarios. So just bear with me on this one. So the objective here is uh, you are hired as an architect for MSP, a uh, managed service provider called Cloud Scholars. Uh, your job is to help a client get a virtual machine configured in their network. Make sure your virtual machine can only be accessed from the client's network and the password for the VM should be secured. So what I'll be doing in this series is I'm going to show you all, you know, the right way of doing things. I'm also going to show you the wrong way of doing things, you know, putting passwords within your code um, because I want to show you exactly, you know, the proper way of doing things. So sometimes you'll see me do videos where I'm showing you, you know, just how to do it, but it may not be the right way of doing it. Uh, don't yell at me for that. I just want to go through educating you through all different aspects. Okay, so here are the tasks that we have in front of us. So what we want to do is we want to create a network security group. Um, and then we're also going to create a network interface. And then we need to associate the network interface with a security group. In the next part of this series, because this is going to be a series within a series, so it's going to be uh, creating a virtual machine. It's going to be three series, three uh, videos within it. Uh, we're going to have to create a public IP address, associate the public IP address with our network interface, and then we're also going to associate our network security group with a subnet. And then we're going to get to a point where we are going to uh, create a virtual machine, associate network interface to VM. Uh, network security group to find a rule to only allow access via customer's IP address and then set up a secure password method for our key vault. So the reason why I'm breaking this into three parts, because, you know, even though when you're, when you're setting that up within the portal, it's much, you know, I wouldn't say it's much easier, but, you know, you're clicking on different things is the different portions of it, of setting it up within the portal. Now, within the GUI, you'll you're probably not really noticing all the different components which comes into play when you're setting it up, when you're setting up a virtual machine. So let's take a look at what we have here. So we have our virtual network and then within our virtual network, we have two subnets. And what we have for our virtual machine, as you see what's associated with it is a network interface. We have an operating system. We also have a public IP address. Now also, we also have the NSG rules as well. Now on this, I didn't even put in for the key vault because that's just a whole nother uh, animal within itself. But I wanted to just get to a point of just talking about the components of the virtual machine and getting that up and running. So in order to follow through with this, I'm going to create put a link in the description of this video where you can download these three files and you can have it within your Terraform. So hopefully you have Terraform already set up on your machine. If not, I will have a Terraform video earlier in the series where I talked to you about how to set up Terraform and all that other good stuff. And then we have three files. We have our locals, our main.tf, and our networking files. So what I'll do is, and you'll see when you're looking at the videos to follow along, it's going to be Terraform Beginners, Azure. And then there's creating a virtual machine, network interface, because that's the portion that we're working on this video. And this is the starting code. Okay, so let's walk through this code of what we have so far. So I'm going to start with the main.tf. So we have obviously our required providers is Azure. We have our information related to our um, our portal, our client secret, et cetera, et cetera. You'll notice that this keeps changing. I'm going to make sure that mine changes every three or four days. I don't want anybody else looking at any of these videos and then trying to do anything malicious. So I'm just trying to protect myself. And then also we have is our resource group, which is our marketing resource group that's already created. For our locals, we have our resource group name, marketing resource group, our location. We have our network security group. We have our virtual network and we have our address space down here. For our networking, what we have is a network security group. So as I mentioned earlier, I said we need to create a network security group, but we already have one already done. So when you downloaded it, you can see you have a resource Azure network security group and we called it MKT network security group. 
and we took our name from our locals we have our location from our locals and we have our resource group from our locals and this depends on if you if you don't know what depends is and i mentioned that in an earlier video but depends is basically saying hey this resource cannot be created without this um here this dependency and the dependency is a resource group so once the resource group is, is created then it could come here and say okay build this one out and deploy this in our environment so we have our another block of code which is our virtual network our virtual network um is the one that's already created for us and it has our the virtual network uh, name and i'll jump over to the azure portal really quickly and this is our virtual network name marketing virtual network and then we have our location, our resource group, and then we have our address space, which we have from here, which is our address space 11 slash 16. Then this has depends on network security group. And then we also have a depends here, which is our resource group as well, because that's the requirements. So you can't have this created unless you have a security group because it needs to have a security um uh, it needs to have a associated one with it and then it has a resource group as well well actually you know what i can take this out because this block of code doesn't really need the security group in it i changed up the code a little bit i had um within this i had subnets defined within it and i have subnets defined outside of it so we really don't need this depends here so we can take that piece out so our subnets, we created our subnets within our own block of code. So we have the name subnet one, we have the resource group virtual network name, and we have our prefix. So this is the virtual network this subnet is supposed to be associated with, and this one as well. So what we want to do is we want to continue down here. And what we need to do next is we have our network security group created. We need to now create a network interface. So back over at the Terraform code, uh, where I'm going to re read through this and walk you through how we're going to set this up. So we have our Azure resource group, and then we also have our virtual network. And this is the example code they have here. And it's really good to go, go through their code because they literally show you exactly what you need to have defined in order to get this done the correct way. And we have a subnet that we have associated here, and then we have our Azure network interface. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to copy this blog of code because this is everything I need. And then we also have some arguments down here that is required. So you see it says IP configuration, um, it says location, name, resource group is required, but then they have other stuff that is optional that we're gonna look at later on. We can have DNS service if you wanna put that in there as well. Um, enable IP forwarding. There's a lot of other stuff that's here that we can do. Um, you probably notice this one when you're creating it within the Azure portal, which is the enabled accelerated networking, if you want to put that down as well. But we're not going to go through all of that and do all that stuff. Um, I'm going to show you something else. So we have Azure network interface. So what we're going to do is we're going to continue with the name. So we are doing MKT. So we're going to say MKT uh, net interface. MKT net interface, and we're going to come down here. We're going to do the exact same thing. Now for location, we're going to do local dot location, and then for resource group, we're going to do local dot resource group, and then IP configuration. We'll leave it as internal, but then we have the subnet ID. So the subnet ID needs to be one of these. So what we're going to do is say, okay, what subnet is it going to be associated with it? So I'm going to say Azure subnet, and then let's see which one we're going to add it to. We're going to do subnet one dot ID. So we're only going to use it right now for subnet one. We do have two different subnets, but we're going to associate it with subnet one. And then we're going to click save. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to do Terraform plan, and let's see what comes out of that. Okay, so right now what we're seeing it says um, when we did a Terraform plan, let's see, it says Terraform will be selected, provided to generate. It says Azure Network Interface, MKT Net Interface will be created. Um, it lets us know that some of this stuff will not be known until after it is applied. And we have one. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to say apply. And say yes. Okay, so what we have, we're back over the Azure portal. Let's just see if we have our stuff set up correctly. So we have a marketing interface. You can see here, if we click on it. We have a private IP address. We see that it's a location East US. We see it's a marketing resource group. So it's looking good. We do have stuff there. Um, 
Uh, but you see, it's not attached to anything because we haven't attached it to a PC yet. Um, but we do have all of that set up at the moment. Okay, so we go back to our task. We see it says create a network security group. We already had that established already. But then we also need to create a network interface, which we did. But we need to associate the network interface with a security group. So that's, that's what we need to do now. So back over at HashiCorp, we're going to take a look at some of the code here. And we have resource group. We have virtual network. We have our subnet. We have our network security group, which is already established. We have our network interface. And then at the end, you have network interface security group association. So if you look here at the code, it says it needs a network interface ID, right? Because it needs to know what network interface ID. And we already have that created. And then we also need to say, okay, network security group. Um, we need to add the ID of that one as well. So I'm going to apply that down here. I'm just going to paste that down there. And I'm just going to say, um, I'll take this same name. And I'll say associate. And then down here is what I'll take. I'll say network interface. And I'll just do mkt.id. And then network security group, I'm going to do as well. Um, and I'll just take that out. And then I'll do mkt.id. And that's what I need. So over here, what we could have done as well. So let's just say I'm doing it one by one. But if you're really coding it out, one of the things that you want to do is you want to do something like a depends. All right. And you'll have your depends and you'll say, OK, what are the depends? So the requirements are you're going to need to have, let's just say, resource group. So that's another one that you would probably put down here as a requirement as well. You can also say, um, well, I think we should be fine with that. Um, so we can leave that as a requirement and then we should be good. And then down here, we should be all right as well. So now we have this here and our security group is this MKT NetSec security group. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click apply. We'll type apply. And it says one to add, and let's see, it says Terraform will perform the following uh, actions. It says Azure Network Interface Security Group Association, MKT Interface Associate will be created. So I'm just going to, yes. Okay, it says one added, zero change, zero destroyed. Okay, so now if we go back to the Azure portal, you'll see it says attached to, it says M marketing net sec. So it says it's attached to a network security group. So we know that that is completed. So I want to uh, cut this video right now um, and break it up a little bit. Uh, this one's probably going to be running about 15 minutes, which is fine by me. Um, but, you know, the next video, part two of this, what we're going to be working on. We're going to be working on creating a public IP, associating public IP to our network interface. And then we're also going to associate our network security group to one of our subnets, if not both of our subnets. So I hope the information I provided you in this uh, video was beneficial. Once again, my name is Kieran Tross. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch in this video. Please subscribe uh, to the channel. It helps me with the algorithm. Please like and share if you can. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to continue making more uh, fun videos around Terraform for you uh, throughout all of 2024. So I want to thank you so much for watching this video. As always, my, my goal here at Cloud Scholars is to get you from scholar to consultant and, of course, consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.